A former professional athlete who was born without legs is sharing his story today at Bonita Springs High School. NBC2 anchor Nate Foy explains how Dave Stevens is turning his disability into an inspiration. I said, well, I got to figure out a way to do this. Dave Stevens was born without legs. The unfortunate result of his birth mother taking a morning sickness drug during pregnancy. What are you supposed to do with that when you're handed that? And I just said, you know what? I'm going to go out, I'm going to try, I'm going to fail, and figure out the best way to do things. Dave developed a love for sports. <laughs> Eventually becoming the first college football player and minor league baseball player with no legs. I've pinch hit for Dale Strawberry. I've tried out for the Dallas Cowboys. I've played in the same outfield at the Olympic tryout with Barry Bonds. I mean, all these things, and it, it doesn't say on there he had no legs or he was handicapped. It's just Dave Stevens did these things. Today, Dave shared his story with students at Bonita Springs High School. It was just kind of cool to see someone who, um, who doesn't have legs go through something that people with legs don't normally don't get the opportunity to. There's moments I'm just like, oh, I'll never make it up to like volleyball college level. And the fact that he did, that's like amazing. And it makes me want to keep on trying and not give up. And if I fail, then I just keep on going. From college athletics now to a career in sports television, this three foot two athlete sometimes can't even believe what he's accomplished. I say I've lived a Forrest Gimp life because I've just like Forrest Gump. I've done all these crazy things that people can't even believe. But if you go to YouTube or my pages, you know, so you can see that it actually did happen. Nate Foy, NBC2. They say kids sometimes lack perspective. Well, that'll help. Yeah. And those kids were really listening yeah. and, and definitely getting the message you could tell by in their faces.